Okay, let's go. The closest planet to the sun is Mercury, and no, oh, it's only a little bigger than the Earth's moon, though. But it's hot, you see, 840 degrees. 840 hot, degrees. man, and that's so hard to believe, right? Well, that's on the day side while it's facing the sun. But on the night side, man, you can come undone. Cause it's hundreds of degrees below frozen, frozen, oh, freezing. In the way, that ain't no fun. Nope. So let's run off to the second planet from the sun, Venus. But Venus, you come, put some really from the sun. But wait, you're hotter than Mercury? How can that be? Well, Venus suffers from a toxic atmosphere. Crushing surface pressure and what we call the greenhouse effect So basically the heat enters but it can't leave It gets trapped and that's that and it's hot, that's a fact Oh, 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 look at here, it's a planet with an atmosphere So have no fear, have no fear Planet Earth is here to save the day And it's our only hope, let's keep it nice and safe uh, okay The third planet from the sun is the one that we call home It's where all from, it provides the oxygen the That we need to breathe and the nitrogen That we get from the trees and the soil and the sea. Okay, now let's move on to the next planet from the sun I'm sure you've heard of it, it's made mostly of iron, oxide and dust So basically it's rust, the fourth planet from the sun is Mars and it must Be really cold cause it's a dusty place and everything is red It's so far away from the sun, but not as far as some other planets we have yet to discover So let's go see another, yeah. fifth planet from the sun is Jupiter And it's huge, it's huge, it's the biggest planet in our solar system It's huge, it's, it's huge. mostly helium and hydrogen and it's gassy But yo, no jokes man, let's keep it classy You can recognize it though cause it's Got a great red spot, best believe it, yo. That storm's been raging for centuries, centuries, and who knows how long before it extinguishes that could be. We don't so know. where we're at, uh, well, let's see. It's a sixth planet from the sun, Saturn, see? see? And see? it's got rings made of ice and rocks. And there's a lot of helium and hydrogen. And did I mention it's got lots of moons? How many, you ask? Well, there's 62. Okay. And that's really quite a ridiculous amount. Because every now and then, even Saturn loses power. And what's after Saturn? Well, it's Uranus. Uranus. It's a planet from the sun, and it's heinous. It's heinous? It basically orbits right up on its side. And astronomers think that the planets collided with some other planet. Oh, do they? Like eons ago. And that's why it's on its side, right? And now you know. Oh, and also its atmosphere is methane. It's insane. That's why it's blue and green. And like Saturn, it has rings. And now all. To the planet Neptune It's the eighth planet from the sun And it's blue And it's winds are so strong And sometimes it goes faster Than the speed of sound Neptune is so far It's so cold It's got a rocky center Yeah, it's so old And it's 30 times as far away From the sun as Earth is That's a lot of rocket fuel But it's worth it Yeah, it's certainly worth it What's worth it? And now off to the final planet A dwarf planet Some say it's a planet It's a planet, Jack, damn it Dang, Well, damn a dwarf it. planet Which really isn't a planet But more like a rock in outer space That wants to be a planet really? And all those Sometimes it's the ninth planet from the sun, other times it's the eighth planet. Make it run inside of Neptune's eighth planet space until it flies back straight back into outer space. Into outer space.